Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll discuss the first chapter of plant embryology. That is a flower description. We will discuss in this lecture about flower, its part in detail. Let's start. Firstly, what is flower? Flower is basically a modified condensed shoot in which the shoot apical meristem is converted into floral meristem. Basically, the flower is a modified shoot, hai, reproductive shoot, which is condensed shoot. Hai. Isme shoot apical meristem convert ho jata hai floral meristem mein after attaining a certain maturity in response to environment signal, which shoot apical meristem mein convert ho jata hai floral meristem. A flower is a specialized condensed shoot in which shoot apical meristem gets transformed into floral meristem that is also known as reproductive shoot which bears reproductive organs and perform the function of reproduction so uh, this flower is specially meant for the process of reproduction and it contains reproductive structures next comes part of a typical flower A typical flower consists of a mother axis bracket which is a leaf like structure which is not present hota hai, and, and it protects the flower in bud condition then comes a pedicel pedicel will bear the floral parts in pedicel there are again small leaf like structure which are bracteole, bracteoles uh, or aise flowers which are bracteoles present hota hai, these flowers are known as bracteolate flowers and flowers in which these structures are absent are called ebracteolate same is the case with the bracket. Flower with bracket are known as bracteate flowers, and flowers without bracket are known as ebracteate flowers. Then it bears the floral whorls. There are four whorls in the complete flower. Whorls means layers. So outermost layer is of sepals. Just like collectively called as calyx. Then comes the inner one, corolla, which is made up of petals. Then comes an inner two uh, whorls, which consist of androecium and gynoecium. So these inner two worlds are known as essential worlds because they are the main reproductive structures and outer two worlds are known as accessory or helping structures so a flower with all four worlds is known as complete flower so a flower is generally born on the lateral side of the peduncle at a node in the axil of leaf like structure known as bracket so bracket ke axil may grow karta hai flower on this pedicel on the lateral side this bracket's role is to protect the flower in bud condition and a flower arising in the axil of bracket is called bracteate and if the bracket is absent at the base of flower then that flower is said to be ebracteate and this stalk like structure is known as pedicel you just stalk ki tarah structure is a pedicel kaha jata hai and which exposes the flower in favorable position for pollination and its role is to expose the flower in the favorable position for the process of pollination and the flower is known as pedicellate flower so uh, as a flower in which pedicel present hota hai kaha tha, pedicellate flowers and if this pedicel is absent agar ye pedicel absent hai so flowers are known as sessile flowers as a flowers ko sessile flower kaha jata hai means without pedicel Sometimes there is very short pedicel uh, and present in the flower. Such flowers are known as subsessile flowers. As a flowers go subsessile flower. Kehte. Next structure are the bracteoles. These are the leaf like structures, small leaf like structures, which are present in the pedicel. Ke upar. And these structures are known as bracteoles. And if the bracteoles are present, then the flower is known as bracteolate flower. If bracteoles are absent, then the flower is said to be ebracteolate. So, flower without bracteole is known as ebracteolate flower. The pedicel has an upper swollen portion, which is called as thalamus or torus or receptacle. This is the pedicel. Pedicel ka upper portion swollen hota hai to form a cup like structure is ki shape vary kar sakti hai and this structure is known as 
रिसेप्टिकल टोरस और थैलेमस ये कैरी करता है सारे के सारे फ्लोरल पार्ट्स को थैलेमस इज कंसिडर्ड एज एन एक्सिस ऑफ द फ्लावर सो इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज द स्ट्रक्चर दिस बेसल स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉन एज थैलेमस इट बी आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लोरल लीव्स चार तरह के फ्लोरल लीव्स और फ्लोरल वर्ल्ड वी कैन से आर अरेज इन सक्सेसिव वर्ल्ड द सेपल्स पेटल्स स्टेमस एंड कार्पल्स सो आउटर मोस्ट वर्ल्ड लीव लाइक स्ट्रक्चर जिसे कहा था कैलिक्स दैन कम्स इनर वन दैट इज करोला मेड अप ऑफ पेटल्स दैन कम्स द एंड्रोशियम पार्ट विच इज द मेल पार्ट दैन कम्स द फीमेल पार्ट दैट इज कार्पल सो फ्लार कंजिस्ट ऑफ दीज फोर वर्ल्ड इन ग्रुप और कलेक्टिवल दीज वर्ल्ड आर कॉल्ड कैलिक्स करोला एंड्रोशियम एंड गैनोशियम कैलिक्स इज the collective term used for sepals corolla is the collective term used for petals and androecium is the male part and gynoecium is the female part in flower so this is the brief introduction of floral parts then comes complete flower and incomplete flower so flower with all of the four whorls isme ki sepals present ho petal present hai then comes androecium and gynoecium so if all four worlds are present that flower is said to be complete flower or perfect flower if any of these world is absent so that flower is said to be incomplete flower next comes complete and incomplete flower that i have already discussed a flower is said to be complete when it bears all four types of floral worlds agar isme charo tarah ke floral worlds present hote hain so un flowers ko kaha jata hai complete flower If any of these floral organs are absent or floral whorls are absent, that flower is said to be incomplete. A flower having both the essential organs, essential organ means androecium and gynoecium, is described as perfect flower, bisexual flower, hermaphrodite or intersexual flower. So these are the terms which are used for flower with. both the essential organs which are gynoecium and androecium this is the diagram which shows a perfect flower it consists of all the four floral whorls the sepal petal androecium and gynoecium pistil stamen it is imperfect or unisexual flower if only one of the two essential floral organ is present agar दो एसेंशियल वर्ल्ड दैर इज पिस्टल और स्टेमन अगर इनमें से सिर्फ एक ही प्रेजेंट है एक फ्लार में आइदर स्टेमन और आइदर पिस्टल दैट फ्लार इज सेट टू बी इम्परफेक्ट और यूनिसेक्शुअल फ्लार अ यूनिसेक्शुअल फ्लार वुड बी मेल फ्लार और वी कैन से स्टेमिनेट फ्लार इफ ओनली स्टेम आर प्रेजेंट एंड इट मे बी द फीमेल फ्लार और पिस्टलेट फ्लार इफ ओनली कार्पल्स आर प्रेजेंट सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ presence of male part or female part we use the term staminate or pistillate flowers staminate for male flowers and pistillate term is used for female flowers which bear only carpels when both the essential organs are absent that flower is said to be neuter flower in neuter flowers both the sex organs are undeveloped or are dysfunctional and these plants are produces by means of asexual production So this is all about the complete and incomplete flower. Next, both the types of unisexual flowers, that is, staminate uh, flowers, which contains only male reproductive structures, and rosium, and flowers which bear only female reproductive structures, are known as pistillate flowers. That may be present on the same plant, and that plant is known as monoecious plant. And examples are. maize castor cucurbits and eclypha so this is the animated photograph which shows maize plant it bears this female inflorescence and the male inflorescence at the tip and this in male inflorescence is commonly known as tassel so this is the photograph of this male inflorescence which is known as tassel in case of maize and this is the photograph of female inflorescence and this silk hair like structures are styles 
they capture the pollen grains and undergo the process of fertilization to form a grain in the cob. This is the photograph which shows the flowers of castor. So at the tip it appears pistillate flowers means female flowers and at the lower portion it appears the male flowers. So unisexual flowers are present in castor plant. Next this is the uh, photograph which shows flowers of cucurbita and uh, this is the male flower which bears only male reproductive structure this is anther and this is the filament and this is the female uh, flower which bears a female reproductive structure this is a stigmatic surface and lower one is the ovary which is converted into the fruit when a plant bears only one type of unisexual flower it is termed as dioecious so if a plant contains only one type of flower uh, that plant is known as dioecious or unisexual plant or unisexual it will be unisexual flowers for example we have date palm mulberry coxemia grandis so this is the male inflorescence of date palm it shows the male inflorescence of date palm this photograph shows male inflorescence of date palm and this is the female inflorescence in case of date palm. Next, this is the photograph which shows male inflorescence in case of mulberry. And this is the female inflorescence in case of mulberry. This is the photograph which shows coxemia grandis, which bears two types of, which bear only one type of flower, either male flower or female flower. In such cases, the male plant does not bear fruits. Male plants fruit bear nahi karte hain. And some plants possess more than two types of flowers. And these uh, plants are known as polyamous plants. For example, we have mango, polygonum, and cashew nut. So these plants possess three types of flowers, which are perfect flower. Perfect means they bear both the reproductive structure, that is an uh, androsium as well as gynosium. Then we have staminate flower, which bear only male reproductive structure and the female flowers or neutral flowers which we are female reproductive structure either both the structures are absent or non-functional so this is the photograph which shows the perfect flower or bisexual flower of mango and this is the staminate flower of mango this is the photograph which shows and this is the diagram which shows the flowers of cashew nut It bears three types of flowers. One are the perfect flowers, which are which bear both the reproductive structure, that are androsium as well as the gynosium. Then other one is the only female flower. Then third one is the male. Next we have staminate flower that we have already discussed. Staminate flowers when only stamens are present in the flower. So that flower is known as male flower or staminate flower or androsius flower. For example, we have pumpkin. So we have two types of flower. Staminate flower means it bear only the male reproductive structure, and that is androsium. And second one is the pistillate flower, which bear the female reproductive structure. Pistillate flower is the flower when only carpels are present in the flower, and it is known as female flower, or pistillate flower, or gynoecious flower. For example, we have pumpkin and mulberry that we have already discussed. So this is a photograph of cucurbit, which shows cucurbita, which shows male flower and the female flower next type of flowers are achlamydeus flowers a means without chlamydeus means worlds outer worlds so flowers which are naked flowers it means they are without sepals and petals jab kisi flower mein petals or sepals absent hote hain that flower is known as achlamydeus flower and this type of flower is found in the family piperaceae this is the photograph which shows the inflorescence in case of piperaceae, member of piperaceae. Next comes monoclamidious flower. So these monoclamidious flowers are those flowers in which only single whorl is present and that whorl is known as perianth. It is present in one whorl and perianth is a structure when we are not able to distinguish between petals and sepals then we use the term perianth and its single unit is known as tepal and this type of flower is present in the members of family polygonaceae 
So this is the photograph which shows the structure perianth. So in this flower, we are not able to distinguish between petals and sepal. Only single whorl is present, and that is perianth. And its single unit is known as tepal. Next comes diclamideus flower. So flowers in which sepals and petals are present in two whorls. For example, we have most of the plants, including the members of family Cruciferi, also known as the Brassicaceae, and the member of family Malvaceae. So this is the diagram of typical flower, which bears the outer world that is sepal, and second is the petal. Group of sepal is calyx, and group of petals are, is corolla. So when these two worlds are present, so that type of flower is known as diclamarius flower. Next comes types of flower on the basis of arrangement of floral parts. First, we have cyclic flowers. So these are the flowers in which floral parts are present in the form of circles. And this, these type of flowers are found in the members of family Cruciferi, also known as Brassicaceae and, and Malvaceae. So this is the photograph of Brassica campestris, which shows the cyclic arrangement. So the floral parts, hai, petals and sepals, hai, they are arranged in cyclic manner. And these flowers are known as cyclic flowers. Next, we have acyclic flowers. So in these flowers, uh, the floral parts are present spirally. For example, we have the member of family Magnolia C, which bear acyclic flower. This is the photograph which shows uh, the acyclic flower in which the floral parts are arranged in spiral fashion. So these petals are arranged in spiral fashion. Next comes hemicyclic flowers. So in hemicyclic or spirocyclic flowers, some part of floral parts, uh, some of the floral parts are in circles or some while some are spirally arranged so don't know arrangement of circular arrangement of floral parts as well as spiral arrangement of floral parts for example we have the uh, flowers in the member of family ranunculaceae so this is the flower of ranunculus in which the outer world the petals are arranged in cyclic manner while these anthers or uh, these carpels these androsium and gynosium are arranged in spiral fashion and this type of flower is known as hemicyclic flower. Next comes on the basis of symmetry. Uh, first type of flower is actinomorphic flower. So actinomorphic flowers having radial symmetry, these are the flowers in which they can be divided into two equal halves, two equal halves by any vertical section passing through the center. So as a flower, just go hum two equal halves may divide kar sakte hai from any plane passing through the center. So these type of flowers are found in the member of family Cruciferi and Malvaceae. And this is the diagram which shows this actinomorphic symmetry, also known as radial symmetry. So we can cut these flowers into two equal halves from any planes passing through center. So this type of symmetry is known as actinomorphic symmetry or actinomorphic flower. Next type of flower is zygomorphic flower. So this is again the flower which shows this actinomorphic symmetry. Zygomorphic flowers, also known as bilateral symmetry. So these are the flower in which can be divided into two equal halves by only one vertical division, only one vertical plane passing through the center. So that type of flowers are found in the member of family Papillonaceae and Cisalpinaceae. Is may hum two equal halves may plant uh, flower ko divide kar hai, passing through the one plane. And this is the flower of viola, viola pansy. And this is zygomorphic flower. So this symmetry is also known as bilateral symmetry. Is may hum flower ko do equal halves may divide kar hai from a single plane passing through the center. And these type of flower are known as zygomorphic flowers. Third category is of a, uh, asymmetric flowers. So these are the flower which cannot be cut into two equal halves from any plane. Uh, and these type of flower are found in case of Canna, Canna indica. Next comes the terms that we have already discussed, monoecious, dioecious and polyamous plants. So monoecious plants, when both male and female flowers are present on the same plant, so that plant is known as monoecious plant or bisexual plant. For example, we have Cocos nucifera, that is coconut, then ricinus communis, castor plant, pumpkin, that is uh, cucurbita, then Colocasia and Eclipha. So these are some plants which are monoecious. Next comes dioecious plants. When male is on one plant and female is on other plant, so that type of 
plants are known as dioecious plant or unisexual plants. For example, we have mulberry, papaya, etc. Next comes polygamous plants when unisexual flowers, that is male or female flowers, then bisexual flower or perfect flower, and neutral flower, neutral flowers are present on the same plant. It is referred to as polygamous plants. So these type of flowers are found in the case of polygonum and mango. Next comes types of flower on the basis of a number of floral parts. The flower can be isomerous and heteromerous. If in the flower there is same basic number of parts in different floral organ, for example, we have same number of petals, sepals, and rosium and gynosium, so that flower is known as isomerous flower, and this phenomenon is known as isomery. So a Depending upon the similar basic number of parts, a flower can be described as trimerous. Trimerous flower means flower having the parts of worlds arranged in three or multiples of three or multiple of threes. So that flower is known as trimerous flower. Uh, for example, we have Astrodilus. Next comes tetramerous flower, a flower having part of worlds arranged in four or in or multiples of four. So that flower is known as tetramerous flower. For example, we have mustard. And next comes pentamerous flower, a flower having parts of mm. world arranged in uh, four, five or multiples of five. So this type of uh, arrangement of flower is present in the member of family Solanaceae. Next comes uh, the carpels may be fewer in number. For example, we have petunia that bears five sepals, five petals five stamens but two carpels so this number of floral parts it varies it is not uniform it is not same for all the world all floral world parts so that type of flower is known as heteromerous flower so is tarah ke flower ko heteromerous flower kehte hain jisme jo world ke floral world ke number hai wo vary karte hain from one world to other world, that is petal ka number different hoga, sepal ka number different hoga, yeah, androsium ka number different hoga, gynosium number different hoga. So that type of flower is known as heteromerous flower. For example, we have trimerous flower in which the floral parts are arranged in the multiple of three, ya fir teen hi present hongi. For example, three petals hain, teen hi sepal present hain. Next comes tetramerous in which there are the floral parts in the multiples of four or either four next comes pentamerous in which the floral parts are five or are in multiples of five so this type of flower is known as pentamerous flower next flower is a modified shoot so as we know that this flower is a highly modified condensed reproductive shoot in which the nodes and internodes are compactly arranged or condensed so flower is a modified vegetative shoot with all its components arranged compactly due to condensation of nodes Gothe in 1790 was first person to point out that the flower is homologous to shoot. Flower is homologous to shoot, or jo iske lateral appendages hain, they are equivalent to foliar leaves. So, or jo appendages hain, lateral appendages, they are equal to foliar leaves. And factors, there are some factors which support this view. So, there are a lot of factors jo is view ko support karte hain, ki jo flower ek modified shoot. Hai. The first point which support the view that flower is a modified shoot that is homology between floral bud and vegetative bud. So both are either axial or terminal in position. Yeah, the axial position present on the terminal position present on the modification of floral bud into vegetative bud or bulbils in some plants. There is modification of floral bud. The floral bud have wo modify into vegetative bud. Uh, or bulbils in some plants for example we have agave and allium and globa this is the photograph which shows this floral floral axis this is the structure present hai, these are known as bulbils these separate hote hai, they fall on suitable substrate and they can grow to, uh, grow in the form of new plant so uh, in this type this floral bud is converted into vegetative bud or ye, uh, the vegetative bud grows separately to form new plant body.
next view is shoot nature of receptacle so flower is highly compact structure that we have already discussed where no distinction between the nodes and internodes can be made jahan pe hum differentiate nahi kar sakte nodes aur internodes mein so floral components developing from different nodes jo floral components aur different nodes se uh, arise hote hain but they appear to arise from the same level be due to these highly condensed nodes and shoot nature of this receptacle can be explained by various views so this receptacle is regarded as a uh, shoot the first view in the favor of shoot nature of receptacle is well developed internodes in the flowers so there are well developed internodes in the flowers of capparis cleomganendra and the internode is present between corolla and androecium that internode is known as androphore so internode jo present hota hai corolla aur androecium ke beech mein usko kaha jata hai androphore और इंटरनोड जो प्रेजेंट होता है बिटवीन एंड्रोशियम एंड गाइनोशियम उसे कहा जाता है गाइनोफोर दिस इज डायग्राम विच शोज एंड्रोफोर इंटरनोड बिटवीन करोला एंड एंड्रोशियम दैन गाइनोफोर दैट इज इंटरनोड बिटवीन एंड्रोशियम एंड गाइनोशियम दिस इज द फ्लावर ऑफ क्लियोम गानेड्रा विच शोज दिस एंड्रोफोर एंड गाइनोफोर द इंटरनोड बिटवीन करोला एंड androecium is known as androphore and internode between carpel that is gynoecium and androecium is known as gynophore in passiflora jo passiflora is ke flower mein sirf androphore present hota hai that is the internode between corolla and androecium while in cratavia jo cratavia hai usme present hota hai gynophore it means internode between androecium and gynoecium this is the flower of passiflora that shows this internode between corolla and androecium and this is known as androphore next androphore is elongated in some members of family caryophyllaceae this is the diagram which shows androphore so androphore is the internode between corolla and androecium this is known as androphore और एक और स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट होता है जिसे कहा जाता है एंथोफोर सो ये स्ट्रक्चर है इंटरनोड विच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन सेपल्स एंड पेटल्स कैलेक्स और करोला के बीच में जो इंटरनोड प्रेजेंट होता है कहा जाता है एंथोफोर सो दीज आर सम टर्म्स विच आर यूज्ड इन नेक्स्ट कम्स मॉन्स्ट्रस ग्रोथ सो ग्रोथ ऑफ रिसेप्टिकल विच टर्मिनेट्स आफ्टर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फ्लॉर फ्लोरल कंपोनेंट्स जो रिसेप्टिकल ग्रोथ है वो स्टॉप हो जाती है जैसे फ्लोरल पार्ट्स बनते हैं बट इन सम केसेस जो रिसेप्टिकल है दैट रिगेन इट्स एक्टिविटी इट बिकम्स एक्टिव एंड स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग अ वेजिटेटिव एक्सेस और फोलियर लीव्स एव द फ्लावर फॉर एग्जांपल इन केस ऑफ रोज बियर लार्क्स पर सो दैट टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ इज नॉन एज मॉन्स्ट्रस ग्रोथ दिस इज द फ्लावर इनिशियली जो जब फ्लोरल पार्ट्स बनते हैं तो थैलेमस की टर्मिनल ग्रोथ स्टॉप हो जाती है बट इन सम केसेज ये फिर से ग्रोथ को रिगेन करता है इट बिकम्स एक्टिव और फिर से प्रोड्यूस करता है वेजिटेटिव शूट और फोलियर लीव्स एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ इज नॉन एज मॉन्स्ट्रस ग्रोथ नेक्स्ट व्यू विच सपोर्ट दैट रिसेप्टिकल इज अ मॉडिफाइड शूट इज इलांगेटेड रिसेप्टिकल सो कार्पल बियरिंग पार्ट ऑफ रिसेप्टिकल इलांगेटेड लाइक अ नॉर्मल स्टेम इन सम केसेस जो कार्पल बियर करता है पार्ट रिसेप्टिकल का वो इलांगेट हो जाता है that behaves as a stem like structure mainly during the development of aggregate fruit in some primitive families like anonaceae magnoliaceae uh, for example we have some members like mycelia champaca and polyalthia so in cases mein jo carpel bearing part hai thalamus ka wo stem ki tarah dikhta hai and this is the flower which shows the flower of mycelia champaca isme jo receptacle hai it becomes stem like which bears the floral part or carpels in case of rose these are some other points which support that flower is a modified shoot uh, in rose flowers jo sepals hote hain they resemble the leaf of stem sepals hain wo stem ke upar jo leaves lage hote hain waise uh, similarity show karte hain in degeneria 
जो स्टेमन्स इधर एक्सपेंडेड लाइक ऑर्डनरी लीव्स स्टेमन्स आर एक्सपेंडेड लाइक ऑर्डनरी लीव्स एंड कार्पल्स आर फोल्डेड एंड आर नॉट फर्दर डिफ्रेंशियल इन टू स्टाइल एंड स्टिगमा सो ये भी व्यू uh, सपोर्ट करता है मॉडिफाइड शूट नेचर ऑफ फ्लार दिस इज द फ्लार ऑफ डिजनेरिया इसमें जो स्टेमन्स हैं वो लीव की तरह एक्सपेंडेड स्ट्रक्चर होते हैं और जो कार्पल है दैट इज़ फोल्डेड स्ट्रक्चर और ये फर्दर डिफ्रेंशिएट नहीं हो पाता है स्टाइल और स्टिग्मा में द नेक्स्ट द थैलेमस इज लॉन्गेटर इन केस ऑफ गैन एंड ड्रॉप्स गैन एंड ड्रा एंड शोज डिस्टिंगशन ऑफ लॉन्ग इंटरनोड बिटवीन डिफरेंट फ्लोरल अपेंडिज दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो जो क्लियो गैनड्रा है इसमें हमने डिस्कस किया था इसमें प्रेजेंट होता है एंड्रोफोर और गाइनोफोर एंड्रोफोर इज द स्ट्रक्चर विच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन करोला एंड एंड्रोशियम वी कैन से करोला और एंड्रोशियम के बीच में स्ट्रक्चर उसे कहा था एंड्रोफोर दैट इज इंटरनोड और जो इंटरनोड प्रेजेंट होता है एंड्रोशियम और गाइनोशियम के बीच में उसे कहा था गाइनोफोर सो ये हम चीज़ें ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर चुके हैं नेक्स्ट कम्स लीफ लाइक नेचर ऑफ फ्लोरल कंपोनेंट्स सो दिस इज द other view point that uh, support the view that flower is a modified shoot floral components are homologous to the foliar leaves phyllotaxy and aestivations are similar in many species phyllotaxy means arrangement of leaves on branches aestivation is the arrangement of floral parts on the floral axis or thalamus next is foliar nature of sepal and petals these both structures have for their nature one of the sepal of flower in in, in an inflorescence is modified into large color leaf like structure in case of mosenda so this is a plant or mosenda that shows this leaf like structure which is a modified sepal so that also proves the view that uh, these floral parts are equivalent to this uh, of, uh, leaf then transformation of leaves into bracket सेपल्स पेटल्स कैन बी सीन इन पेओनिया पेओनिया दिस इज द फ्लार ऑफ पेओनिया इसमें ट्रांसफॉर्म हो जाते हैं लीव्स इन टू ब्रैकेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सेपल्स और पेटल्स दिस इज द फ्लार ऑफ पेओनिया सो दैट ऑल्सो सपोर्ट द व्यू दैट फ्लोरल कंपोनेंट्स आर इक्ल टू लीव दे शो लीफ लाइक नेचर नेक्स्ट कम्स ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन द फ्लोरल कंपोनेंट्स सो इन निम्फिया दैट इज वॉटर लिली ट्रांजिशनल स्टेजेस कैन बी ऑब्जर्व बिटवीन सेपल्स एंड पेटल and petal and stamen it shows transitional structures between transitional structure between sepal and petal then between petal and, and stamens cultivated plants like roses china roses portulaca etc these bear large number of petals in mein jo petals hain wo unka number zyada hota hai this is rose flower isme number of petals bahut zyada hain it is considered that some of the stamens have been modified into petals aisa mana jata hai ki जो स्टेमन्स हैं वो मॉडिफाई हो गए हैं पेटल्स में इन दीज केस ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ यूल्यूशन विद द कोर्स ऑफ यूल्यूशन स्टेमन्स आर ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इनटू और मॉडिफाइड इनटू पेटल्स इट इज क्लियर दैट फ्लावर रिप्रेजेंट्स अ शॉर्ट कॉम्पैक्ट ब्रांच ये कुछ व्यू पॉइंट्स है जिससे क्लियर हो जाता है जो फ्लार है एक शॉर्ट कॉम्पैक्ट ब्रांच है इट डिवेल्प्स फ्राम द फ्लोरल बर्ड रिगार्डेड एज मेटामोरफोस शूट और इसे एक मेटामोरफोस और मॉडिफाइड शूट माना जाता है नेक्स्ट कम्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फ्लार फ्लार की डेवलपमेंट कैसे होती है सो देर आर टू फेजेस वन इज वेजिटेटिव फेज एंड अदर वन इज रिपोर्टिव फेज सो फ्लोरल मैरिस्टेम फॉर्म्स फ्लोरल पार्ट जो फ्लोरल मैरिस्टेम है फ्लोरल पार्ट्स बनाता है इट डिफ्रेंश इन टू फोर ग्रुप्स ऑफ सेल्स टू फॉर्म फोर पार्ट्स जो फ्लोरल मैरिस्टेम है वो चार ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स में डिफ्रेंशिएट होता है जिससे कि चार पार्ट्स बनते हैं फ्लार के फोर वर्ल्ड वी कैन से आउटर वर्ल्ड डिवेल्स इन टू सेपल and second whorl into petal whorl number 3 is uh, modified into stamen and the fourth whorl is uh, converted into the carpels these are the diagram which shows the development of flower star tarah ke groups of cells mein divide ho jata hai floral meristem jisme outer most banayega sepal then inner one will make the petals and third whorl will make the stamens or to last inner most whorl that will form the pistil or carpel after growing for a certain period of vegetative phase jo apical meristem hai that receives some signals which are internal as well as external internal kuch ek hormonal changes hote hain external light duration or jo photo period hai wo affect karta hai for which trigger the change of this vegetative form to the floral stage 
The chemical signal jo uh, produce hota hai during this conversion is known as florigen which is responsible for the flowering and this is a hypothetical hormone it is not uh, isolated yet abhi tak isko isolate nahi kiya gaya hai this is a hypothetical hormone aur ye hormone responsible hai flowering ke plants mein next there are four classes of genes agar hum genetic level ki baat kare char classes hain gene ke which are involved in flower development so flowering time genes which determine the flowering time means kis time uh, vegetative form se convert hona reproductive form hai so these genes are responsible for the flowering time the next is meristem identify genes aur ye jo genes hain they specify floral meristem and maintain its specificity ye genes uh, meristem jo floral meristem usko specify karti hain aur usko maintain karti hain next third type of gene is floral organ uh, flower organ identify genes they determine the fate of organ primordia mean jo organ primordia hai kaun petal banayega kaun sepal banayega so ye jo fate decide karta hai this fate is decided by a flower organ identify genes inhe kaha jata hai uh, gene of abc development model so ye jo model hai hum detail mein padhenge next comes late acting gene so ye jo genes hoti hai control karti hai ovule development course. so these are four classes of genes which are involved in flower development next comes abc model of flower development so these are some genes which are responsible for the formation of floral parts so bowman smith and merowitz in 1991 proposed this model in case of arabidopsis thaliana it is a model plant which is used for genetical studies ये जो प्लांट है बहुत ज़्यादा यूज़ किया था इसको जेनेटिकल स्टडीज़ में सो देर आर थ्री क्लासेज ऑफ जीन्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फ्लोरल पार्ट्स दीज आर क्लास ए जीन बी जीन सी जीन विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फ्लोरल पार्ट्स सो द क्लास ए जीन जीन्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सेपल्स जो ए जीन है वो सेपल्स बनाती है दैन कम्स ए एंड बी जीन जो क्लास ए और बी जीन्स हैं दीज बोथ जीन्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पैटल्स ये दोनों जीन्स पैटल बनाती है दैन कम्स क्लास बी एंड सी जीन विच इज यू विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्टेमस नेक्स्ट कम्स क्लास थ्री क्लास सी जीन एंड दिस जीन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कार्पल्स जो पिस्टल बनाता है दैर इज मेड बाई दिस क्लास सी जीन सो दीज आर द थ्री जीन्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट फ्लोरल पार्ट्स इफ क्लास बी जीन इज मिसिंग अगर बी जीन मिस हो तो जो फ्लावर है दैट विल प्रोड्यूस ऑनली सेपल्स एंड कर्पल्स जो स्टेमस हैं और पेटल्स हैं वो दोनों मिसिंग होगी बिकॉज जो बी जीन है दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पेटल एज वेल एज फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्टेमस अलॉन्ग विद ए एंड सी जीन इफ ए जीन इज मिसिंग दैन फ्लावर विल हैव स्टेम एंड कर्पल्स बिकॉज जो ए जीन है दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेपल्स एंड पेटल्स so flower will be without petals and sepals next if c gene is missing then floral components will be sepal petal petal sepal only petal and sepal are present yes stamens and carpels are absent so, so this is a diagram which shows this abc model of flower development this is world one that is sepals jo sepals hain ye banate hain a genes to class a gene hai alone Yeah, it will form sepals. Then next comes world two, which is made by combination of both A and B class of genes, which forms petals. And world three, that is of stamen, which is made by the class B and C gene. Then the final one is the world number four, which consists of carpels. It is formed by the class C gene alone. If any of these genes are missing, they will affect the floral part development. So this is all about ABC model of flower development. So this was all about our today's discussion. In next lecture, we will discuss about the floral parts in detail. If you have any questions, queries, and any suggestions, you can give it in comment section. Thank you. Have a great day.